tell me you're still sleeping. Don't tell me you're still sleeping. Mm -mm. No can do. You have to be at the altar at approximately four hours. And you haven't had your makeup done. Mm -hmm. Stand up. It's today. Mm -mm. Of course it's today. I'm pretty worried. <laughs> Yes, you are. Now get your lazy self into the bathroom and go have your bath. That's now, right. Now, now, now. That's right. Mom, mom. Good morning, love. Good morning. Aww. Oh. You were pleasant, mom. Thank you, my love. Thank you. The both of you look too fine. <laughs> well, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. I know, right? Oh, baby. I made it for you to have your new home. Come here. Do you mean my new home? Eh? You think I'm going to leave my little bodyguard? Huh? Who's going to protect me from the little monster? Who? Who? Uh -uh. Me, mom. Exactly. Don't you. worry yourself, okay? I'll take care of you until you're back from your honeymoon. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. What would I do without you? Absolutely nothing. MJ. Mm -hmm. Thank you for all the love and support. You always have your way through things. Oh yeah, go and have your bath. There's no time again. Huh? Yes, mommy. Don't forget you have to stop by the garden for your photo shoot. Okay. I'm the one getting married, not you. I know. Mommy's getting married. Ah! Okay. Is there anybody home? Where are my girls? Daddy, daddy! Daddy! Oh, my daddy. <laughs> How are you girls? You're fine. I miss you so, so much. Are you sure? Of course I miss the both of you so much. I'm so happy you're home, Daddy. Aww. Happy to be home, honey. Hey, girls. Uh -uh. No hug for me. Girls? She's not our mommy. Uh, girls, I thought we talked about this. She's not your mom, but she's the new mom, okay? Honey, don't worry. Give them time. They'll come around. Anyway, girls, I bought you a lot of goodies from our honeymoon. Okay? Well, who wants to get what I got for them? Who wants to get? A pony? No, silly. A doll? Mm, you're a bit close. But the first gift to the person who catches me first. <laughs> Good day. Hey, Come boy. here, here. <laughs> so, I'm so lucky to have you, you know? I'm the lucky one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My heart is so glad that you're in my life. Oh, I feel the same way too. See, I love you so much <laughs> that I'm sure you do not understand how much I do love you. I love you too. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. No, baby, no. no. Remember, it's just you and I. Well, work starts tomorrow, so. Uh... <laughs> well, you're the boss, so. Well, the boss still has to go to work early. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Pick up, Cecilia. Pick up. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Sorry, my darling. I know it's hot, right? Yes. Is your mom coming to pick me? Yes. They're supposed to go to her, but I can't get the address. My WhatsApp has refused to back up. Have you called her? Yes, I did. I'm sure she's busy. She'll call us back soon, okay? Okay. Oh. 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 my God. Oh. Oh. my God. That was... Amazing. <laughs> Explosive. Right. And interesting. My phone has been ringing. Who could be calling us? We just got back from our honeymoon. I don't know. <sighs> My goodness. <sighs> Hello? Hi! Oh 
Oh, I'm so sorry, babe. I am so sorry. It's hours um, five. Hours five. I'm coming down right away. I will see you right now. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Bye. Who was it? I'm Jesus. You know, babe, it's been Brian over. I totally forgot. Oh. I have to go get them. Let me get it. I am so, so sorry, honey. Oh. Hey, my love. I words for you. I'm sorry now. Were you waiting so long? Not to really. Oh. Yes, we did. I can't believe the house was right in front of us and I didn't know. Smile now. Smile, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Fine. Huh? It's my fault anyway. Yeah. Eh? I changed my phone and lost all files. I still haven't backed it up till now. Babe, I need to go. Uh-uh. Just like that. This shop is brimming with a lot of clients. Really? Yes. <laughs> Plus, my car is a mechanic. Okay. So, it's car runs. You know what? Mm -hmm. I will come in tomorrow and we'll sort everything out. Mm -mm. Don't worry. Relax and enjoy your new home. Okay. You see why I like you? You're the best boss ever. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Business partners. Plus, <laughs> huh? I hate it that I'm soft with you. Oh, because you love ah, me. Please. You love me. I'm very good. I love you. Wait for me, okay? I will, I will. Brian, be a good boy, alright? Okay. Okay, that. Okay, darling, sit down. Let me see how, okay? Let me help you. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, dear. Oh, hi, girls. Brian, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Brian, meet Ariana and Eliana. Girls, meet Brian, my son. Hi. Oh. Say hi. Oh, my. What's happening here? I was just introducing Brian to the girls. Oh, really? Yes. Well, you don't really have to. They are kids. They will warm up to each other naturally. Yeah, I'm right. a baby for my sister. Okay. Let me show you to your room, okay? <laughs> yes. I'm sure you'll just catch up with them later. Girls, snack time. Snack time. Why don't Brian just join the girls to have snacks? S sir, um... Is there enough snacks for the girls? No, not at all, sir. Grandma already bought them and she said they should last for one month. Um, oh, wow. Honey, why don't the girls just have the snacks, okay? We'll um, get Brian his own snacks. Well, I love my girls. Okay, just baby. How about I take you to your room so you can go and play? There's so much to play with. I'll, just, I'll see you in a minute. You know, your, your room has this amazing light. <laughs> I can't believe we slept in. It's Babe. almost 8 a.m. Babe, I can't find my shoes. Why can't you use another? No, that means I have to change my whole outfit. Come on, baby. Is it that complicated? It is. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm in the car. So you uh, meet me downstairs. Don't leave without me, oh. I found it. I found it. Babe. Mom, mom, mom. How are you? Um, I'm hungry. You're hungry? Okay, you know what? Kalista will give you food with the girls, okay? I have to rush to work. Okay, baby? Mm -hmm. I love you. Love you. Love you more. Bye. Bye. Your food is ready. Mm -hmm. This is for you. This is for your cake. Good morning. I'm hungry, but can I have some breakfast, please? Young man, do I look like your slave? Answer me, do I look like your slave? You better go and meet your mother to give you food from anywhere that she brought you from. You are still standing there. Get, get out! Oh, sweetheart, eat your food, okay? All right? Your not your lesson teacher also be here. Baby girl. Hey darling. So how far will the new clients orders? I'm almost done actually. Yeah. Oh, thank you. You're welcome, love. Thank you. Uh, babe. Mm -hmm. In other news. Mm -hmm. Telemica resigned. With all the rubbish she has been doing, <laughs> hey. my sister, 
he hates that that is being bossed about by two women. Mm -hmm, he's really bad. Yeah, he was actually. Don't worry, we'll pull through. Hmm. How? Have you seen our order? Our latest collection is not ready yet. How will they be fancy? I know. Babes, I saw too. I'll work extra hours. Okay? Hmm. You don't have to work overtime too. Just focus on your new family. Eh? Besides, you don't sew. But eh? I'm the office manager now. Eh? And I don't work extra hours. I feel guilty. <laughs> I'm glad you do. Well, that's what you get for having the best boss. How come you didn't say business partner this time? But that's you're my boss now. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you will say business partner, sometimes you say no, boss. Oh, you're my boss. Don't worry, that can work. My don't boss. worry. My darling, mm -hmm. you look good though. Eh? Well, I know I saw you yesterday, but babe, you look good. Thank you. You know, all thanks to Kule. I know. With Kule, all my worries are melted away. Oh. <laughs> so. so generous. I know. Imagine taking you all the way to Maldives. Uh, and if you get all the bills too. Babe, I can't even lie. I didn't want to come back home. Ah, it was a beautiful experience. What? I'm too lazy. Ah. Oh, I kill myself. Soft Hi, life, my Brian. Hi, 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 So what are you going to do about the new school term? Hmm? <sighs> the place is quite a distance, though. I know. I was thinking of, you know, enrolling him with the girls at the same school. Wouldn't that be too expensive? I mean, I don't really contribute to the financial upkeep in the house, so I can squeeze myself and, 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 and try and pay his fees. Baby girl. Hmm? Those girls' school is one of the most expensive schools on the island. I know. Are you sure you can afford it? What do you want me to do? Speak to Conley about it. You want him to pay, pay for Brian's school fees too? I am not suggesting that. Okay? Well, how about if you tell him to enroll the girl in a school that both of you can afford? Oh, so you're saying that the girls and Brian should be on the same level as they should be equal? Exactly. Hmm. Well... I'll speak to him. Mm -hmm. And what do you think you are doing? I'm hungry. Is the noodles yours? No, I saw it in the cupboard. You saw it in the cupboard? Don't you know you are supposed to take permission before touching anything? Is this your house? My friend, get out and go to your room. So, now you came to somebody's house and they are touching things. So, babe, what do you think? I can't take the girls out of their school. I know. No, they are kids now, so they might not understand. But growing up, they will just feel, you know. Okay, how much do you have? Let me add to it. Brian can go to the girls' school. They can all go to the same school. What is it? You know, I'm so sorry I've not had your time in a while. Okay? It's just that mommy has been busy. I promise I will get time off work so that we can spend as much time together. Okay? So, how has my baby been? I don't like that auntie. Which one? The nanny. It seems you don't like me. No, don't say that. You're just not comfortable around her. She prefers Eliana and Eliana more than me. Maybe. She knows them longer. She's been with them a lot longer. Mom? Yes, ma. Never mind. Why? Anyway, I bought some snacks for you and the girls. It's in the kitchen. You can have it whenever you want, okay? Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. Make sure you're okay. Hmm? I love you, right? 
from here. Like big boy, big boy, big boy. So honey, I'm gonna take the girls out tomorrow. Oh. Yeah. That'll be so cool. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, girls, I'm sure it's gonna be a fun field time where you can bond with your good new mommy. Okay? Okay. That's good. And uh, <clears throat> if you guys gossip about me, I will hear. <laughs> I will hear. We are not <laughs> going to gossip about you. <laughs> Are you okay, honey? Great. Uh, we defend this thing now. Why are you not? This guy, I don't even understand this guy. Daddy, I'm going to go soon. Come on, score this ball now. Score this goal. What? Oh, my friend, go upstairs and go and play. What nonsense? Can't you see I play football? This is it. Come on. Okay. When next you come, you can try this. See now. It's good for your skin. Hey girl! Hey boo boo! Hey boo boo! Hey, boo, -boo. <laughs> Look who's here! Hi, I know! Hey beautiful darlings! Hello. Afternoon, how are you? Say hello now, introduce yourself. What's your name? What's yours? What's your name? Ariana. Oh, Eliana. They're so Ariana. beautiful. I saw them at the wedding, but I didn't get a close look. Yes, they're so stunning. So uh -huh. I just walked around the neighborhood and I said, you know what? Let me pop by, you know, show them more proud mommy mm -hmm. moment. I know, <laughs> I know. Uh -uh. What are you looking at? Where's my Brian? Uh, Brian is at home. What is he doing at home? Nothing. We just, I just wanted to hang out with the girls. Oh, okay. All right, darlings. Check what? for what you want, okay? You see? Just check. I think MG says you should check. Oh. Mm. Huh? You're doing well. Thank you. But please. Don't forget to always carry all the children along. Let them bond together. Let them grow together. You're saying this because of Brian, are you? Mm-hmm. You know, if the girls hang out. It's not working. Brian is fine. I have heard you. <laughs> girls, you need to leave. Don't worry. I'll bring the clothes for you on Monday, okay? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I know. I know. Now, wow. Well. I think this will be fine. It changed my mind. Don't no, follow us. So we are going to the mall. We are seeing frozen. Bye. My friend, my friend. <laughs> ah, ah, I should just follow you now. Don't follow us. Ask what to sell. Please stay there. Take care. My regards to Kunle. Ah, ah. Hey. Now it's more something though. Hey baby. Hello. So how was your day without me? It was great. Mm. Aliana and Ariana have fun to be with. Yeah, they get that from me. Oh, such a booster. <laughs> <laughs> so how was your day with Brian? Um, uh, Brian? Yes, I thought you two were hanging out today. Uh, well, you know him. He was just hanging out in his room alone and uh, uh, I just let him be. I feel like Brian is too quiet. He's shy. Look, I raised him all by myself, and I, I honestly think that he needs a father figure. What's your name? Brian. Aunt already told us his name. She's not Auntie but mom. She's not our mom. That's all that she is. Good afternoon. I've missed you, my darlings. You missed you too, Grandma. Mm. Look at you, Ariana. Eh? I haven't been gone up to a month and you put on so much weight. Welcome, ma. And why did you leave the girls here all alone with a stranger? I just went to the kitchen to check what I was cooking, ma. Hmm. Who's he? He's really mommy's son. His name is Brian. She's not a mom, Ariana. Mm, mommy's son? 
It was new madame would have brought him to come and be living with us. He's our son. I think no, you no, Kule, Why, no, Why don't you want no, to get me Kule, out? Kule, you hear me out. Okay, no. all right, fine. Listen, fine. I did not raise an eyebrow when you decided to marry that girl. True. And anyway, if he's dead and uh, you were alone. But how could she bring her son? How? Mom, he's just a little boy. Where do you expect him to go to? Why can't he go to his father? Why? Listen, I will not let another man's spawn be raised with my girls. I mean, you could be the son of a killer. Mom, now you're exaggerating, okay? No, Kunle, I am not blowing this out of proportion. I have seen it happen, where people raise other people's boys and they turn around and murder them. <laughs> okay, now, now you're being paranoid, okay? Mom, please. You call this paranoia? Yes. Kunle, I call it common sense. Tell your wife to send that boy to his father. Uh, the boy needs his father. Or does she want to shove him down your throat? Eh? Mom, calm down. Okay, you really need to calm down, all right? You remember your high blood pressure. Please, I, I don't need you to walk yourself over this. And tell your wife to hang his picture elsewhere. Not here in the family room. He is not a member of the family. Mom. Mom. Babe? Yeah? I thought you said your mom just came from Griffith. Yeah, yeah. She probably misses the girls and decides to spend the night. Oh. Okay. Babe? Yeah? How about Frank, Brian's father? What about him? Well, um, I mean, I really thought of going to look for him, I mean, to confirm where he is and for the sake of Brian or something. Why would I want to go and look for someone who almost ruined my life? Well, not to look for him and begin a chat up with him, but for the sake of the boy. No way. He doesn't care about his son. Look, he's just a sperm donor. Honestly, he doesn't love or care or he's concerned about Brian. What if he does? I mean, what if he's been looking for you all along because you said you left him and took the child? What if he's been searching for you guys? Baby, something wrong. Why this certain concern about Brian's father? Oh, it's nothing. I was just I was just asking. Let's go to bed. Are you sure there's nothing wrong? Of course there's nothing wrong, baby. Come to bed. Kalista. Kalista! Ma? Why is Brian's picture that hung here? Picture. Ah. Madam, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I hung Brian's picture here a few days ago. Where is it? Here. Mm -mm, my head. Ah. Madam, me, I do not see any picture. I didn't see any picture. Ah. You can go. Um, Oga is waiting for you in the camera. Okay. Yes. I'm looking for Brian's picture. Oh, that. I took it down. Why? Well, I just don't think that picture was rightly taken. But you should have told me. I'm sorry, honey. Okay, other frames in the sitting room are looking nice. I don't want Brian's picture to stick out as a sore thumb. Right. That's so thoughtful of you. Sure. How did I deserve you? Maybe you saved the universe in your former life. <laughs> we'll take him for a new photo shoot. How about that? No, great. Right. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. Galista! 
Talista. Talista. Did the driver bring my bag? Oh, yes, they're in the guest room. Ah, I see. Okay. I'm up to the salon with the girls. Hmm? Okay, ma'am. Well, we're going to start by the grandma. Do you want to come with us? Ariana? Yes, ma'am. Let's go. Why do you have that voice coming? It's because Atsila said he's our new brother and we are to be nice to him. He said that? Let's go. Get into the car. Let's go. <laughs> Can you see that? Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, mom. Oh. I thought you were sleeping already. Not yet. Oh, mom, you should see this show. It's so good. I see. Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Cecilia? Yes, mom? Where is your son's father? Mom? Where is your son's father? My... He doesn't have any. What do you mean he doesn't have any? Even chickens have father. How could a young boy, a small boy, have none? Um, Ma, it's a long story. To be honest, I just don't want Brian associated with him. Oh, so you prefer lying to the world that he's Kunle's son? Ma? You told the girls that he is their brother. Yes, because I think that we are we are blended family. So I, I I'm sorry. I just I, I I I believe in telling the truth as it is. I mean, that boy is in no way related to my granddaughters. They don't even bear the same last name. So how could they identify as siblings? Ma, I'm their stepmom. And so I, what? How could you take such a huge leap, such a drastic step, without consulting with the family? Eh? I mean, how could you bring into our fold a child we know nothing about? Mom. 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 Yes? Please, can we talk about this some other time? Please? Eh? Can you just... Find your son's father. A boy shouldn't be without a father. She said what? First she came to my house for a visit. Now she's she's on holiday. I thought she lives in a big mansion in Lagos. She does. So why is your house now her favorite place to be? Do I know? <laughs> Babe, you're trying to you know. If it were me. I would have lashed at her and damned the consequences. Ah, no, she's my mother, you know. I can't speak to her in that manner. <laughs> That's your own. Oh, no. So you can raise her son's children, but you cannot raise yours. I already told her I am not sending Brian back to his father. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. Where do you think you're going? I'm going. Where? Will you get it? Oh my God! Will you? Oh, Kalista! What is it? What, what did you come come here to do? Why are you here? Who told you to come down? Come, get this this clumsy boy out of here! Oh, sorry, Mom. Hey, are you okay? I'm fine, yes. I'm sorry, I hope I didn't startle you. <sighs> Ariana, Eliana, I don't want you to, to ever play with that boy, okay? But why? Because he is a bad boy. But he's a little boy. And so, he is still a bad boy. No, 
now eat your food. Sometimes the ones you love don't get it back. Oftentimes they compromise and let you down. I see the way that you love me. I know you don't mean no hurting. No way I'm letting you off. I see the way that you love me. I know you don't mean no hurting. No way I'm letting you off. All I want is your undivided attention. Your affection. Is anybody home? Daddy! Hello, my sweeties. How are you? Welcome home, Daddy. Thank uh, you, baby. Oh, welcome home for me. Welcome home. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Thank so you. So, how was your day? I hope you enjoyed yourself. We had so much fun with Grandma. Really? Mm. Well, she told you lots of stories, yeah? Ah, oh, Grandma tells the best of stories. Where is Brian? I think he is in the zoo. Oh, I see. I see. Mom, please, can you read me a bedtime story? Of course, darling. I will be delighted to. Mom, can you come check out my stuff that you say? It doesn't feel well. Okay, Mom. Okay. Girls, girls, <laughs> girls, why don't you just give your new mommy a little bit of time to settle in before asking her to do this and do that? Why don't you run along to your room now? She'll meet you up, okay? I will be right there, honey. Ryan! What is going on here? I fucked my keys. I can see that. Why? I don't want to live here anymore. Why not? Why don't you want to live here? I want to believe this is not my home. What do you mean this is not your home? This is your home. You've had this discussion so many times. I don't stay with Atikemji. Why? Why do you have to stay with Atikemji? They treat me differently. Grandma hates me. Hate is a very strong word. Don't want hate you. I don't want to live here anymore, Mom. You know what? Stop it. Stop it right now. I don't know what you want going through some adjustment. I don't know, Elena, they're doing the same thing. What is wrong with you? But, but what? It ends right now. You promised to read me a bedtime story. Yes, Mom. I will, I will be with you shortly. Look, take these bags, put them in the wardrobe, arrange the clothes back, and see me see your nice wear. Now. Let's go. Wow. This looks amazing. You know, you haven't tried my cooking, so I decided to make lunch today to officially welcome you to the family. Wow. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. It was so lovely. Yes. Yes. So, um, mm. can we help ourselves? Yes, so, but uh, first, who is going to say the grace today? Eliana or Ariana? Um, before we, uh, where is Brian? Ariana, please help me get Brian. <laughs> Ariana. Cecilia, this is a family gathering. Your son will have his meal in his room. But, but Ellie, Mama, share, let's share the grace. And this is your aunt. Let this food, oh Lord, for Christ's sake. Amen. Hmm. Wrong. I've been looking everywhere for you. Why are you just standing here alone? Are you going to pretend that you didn't see what your mom did at lunch today? Look, babe, we've been living peacefully in this house, okay? Don't let this kind of small thing upset you. Okay? Why can't you see that your mom doesn't like Brian? When she gets to know Brian, she will. She has to want to get to know him for that to happen, no? Hey, hey, remember we promised each other that until after one year before we start raising our voices at each other. How do I tell a seven-year-old boy that his new family wants him to wait for him to be accepted? How? Brian is a smart guy, you understand? It's not that easy. Hey. It's not. Hey. Okay, fine. Okay. Wait, let's try. You see? I <laughs> 
Oh yeah, I'm pressing this one. Oh yeah, no. You know what? You guys, you can play this thing. Go and, go and continue upstairs, okay? Please don't let my phone drop, oh. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Cecilia. No? Thank you. Why are you thanking me? For bringing so much joy and happiness into the lives of Kule and the girls. <laughs> Ma, I can't take the credit for it. Oh, but you should. There's nothing like a woman's touch. Well, I I love Kuli with all my heart. Mm -hmm. And I love the girls too. Sadly, their mother passed on when Eliana was about three and Ariana was still a baby then. I know. But I will make sure that they remember her. Oh, that's good. That's good. You know, I mean, you're their mom now, but she's still their biological mom, and she didn't choose to leave them. You know? I know. Look, Ma, I will cherish her memory for forever. That's good. <sighs> I, um, can I ask you for something? Of course, of course, please. Would you would you grant my request? No, of course I will. I like you so much. You are just so much fun. You're jovial. You're friendly. I try. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now to my request. Okay. Uh, could you send your son back to his father? My, he's my son. There's no disputing that. I mean, you can go visit him from time to time. And, um, I mean, just, just look around you. He, he has no place here. Ma, he has lived with me all his life. He can't start living with someone else. Someone else? His father is not someone else. Ma, his father is not responsible. He has not even asked after him. I, I, I can't just send him. What about his family? I'm not close to them either. Oh. Why don't we do it this way? Hmm? Why don't you introduce Brian to his family? I'm sure they will accept him. Hmm? I mean, you know you're a member of this family now. And all things have passed away. You need to focus on being a great wife for Kunle and a good mother to the girls. Ma, he's my son. Oh, Cecilia, please, don't tell me you're going to do that. I, I can't, but, but, I, but what? Look, that woman, she's not so bad. She's not. She's a woman of pedigree. And me from what from a humble background, she let me into her home. Okay, so you won a lottery by marrying her trophy son? I'm not doing that. <laughs> okay. You want to pay her back because she accepted you into her family by giving up your son? No. <laughs> so let this make sense, Cecilia. I, I don't get you. I'm surprised at you. What are you doing? You can go, you can go. Babes, I don't get you anymore. I expect you to be raving mad. To be boiling of anger over this ridiculousness of situation. But here you are. Cool and rational. Look, violence is not the answer. Oh, please! Don't you dare lecture me, young lady. I know how much you love that boy. And I still do! Oh, no, you don't. You are trying so hard to fit into that family. I fear he no longer has a place in your heart anymore. How can you even say that? Oh, yes. You didn't yell in the face of that mother-in-law of yours when she made such a stupid demand of you. You know that I can't do that. I can't yell at her. Oh, yeah. So what now? What now, Cecilia? You're going to sacrifice your flesh and blood on their family shrine just because you want a stamp of their approval? Oh, yes. Sorry, I'm not in your shoes. No, 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 no. Since you clearly have all the answers, please tell me what to do. 
Brian is my son. And Kule, the love of my life, my husband. What do I do? It was agreed from the beginning that you are moving with Brian. I can't turn the tables on you now. You know nothing, Kenji. Babe, I'm sorry. Babe, please. I'm sorry. Sorry, Joe. So, you want to raise another man's child, right? It's not Brian's fault that his father is no good. So, since his father is no good, you are the ideal father figure, right? Mom, why are you stressing this issue? Because I know women. She will not love your kids as much as she loves her son. And very soon, your daughters will be starved of even your own attention. Oh, no, that's not true, Mom. We've been married for over a month now, and I give my girls as much attention as I've always had. Mm, so that doesn't take away the fact that that boy needs to be with his father. Mm. You are not his father. Calm down. Why don't you just take it easy? It's not as serious as that. I mean, I'm not becoming his dad or anything. He's my stepson. You mentioned that the boy's father is no good, right? Mm, I did. So, that means that boy could be exactly like his father. How is that possible, Mom? He's been raised by his mother. Yes, but there could be some hidden traits, some evil traits that he could have inherited from his father. Mom, if you really need to take it easy, why are you stressing this matter? <sighs> See, there's something about that boy. He seems very angry. Angry? Mom, I don't really know much about him, but he seems really cool to me. Listen, I can tell a person's character from miles away. And what I can see of that boy, pretty soon you will not be able to control him. I heard you, Mom. Um, Cecil and I have just gotten married not even up to a month. So just don't worry about it, okay? But you, how do you feel raising another man's child? Is that what you want to do? Well, before we got married, we both agreed that we were going to take care of the kids together. Oh. So it's not that you want to do it, but that you are bound by an agreement, eh? Mom, hmm? marriage is sacrifice. Mom, can I count on your understanding? Mom, can I count on your understanding? Are you off to the company, son? Yes. Uh, did Remy call you? Remy? Yes. Mm, no. He sent me a message this morning. Where is he? Mom, mom, calm down. I'm sure when he's ready to come home, he will. All right? What an annoying boy. He couldn't even think of me. He didn't reach out to me all these years. Don't worry, I'll find him. Okay, I sent him a message, but he hasn't replied yet. He didn't even have the decency to attend his own brother's wedding. I'm sure he must have a reasonable excuse for that. For the girl's son. I don't even want to hear anything about him. I don't even want to know. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Well, what's this? An enrollment brochure? Uh, well, uh, yes, it's for Brian, for the new school. You mean you want to enroll Brian in the same school with the girls? But we just don't want them to feel different, Mom. School is very expensive. I mean, I, you and I know that she cannot afford to send her, her son to that school. Yes, well, that's why I'm supporting her. Are you out of your mind? Mom, we are one family. No, we are not. Not with that boy tagging along. He's not one of us. Mom, please, can you just let it rest? 
Just let it rest. Listen, you cannot enroll Brian in that school. In the same school with the girls, you cannot do that. No, I cannot believe we're talking about this now. Okay, so please, just forget about it. Why is your wife so stubborn? Eh? All she needed to do is just send the boy to his father. What is so difficult in that? It's not as if we're saying she should throw the boy away. I'm running late, Mom, so I have to go. The door is open now. Come in. Your ginger tea, ma. Ha. Thank you. Um, where are the kids? They're in the playroom. Okay, and where is that boy? He's in his bedroom, ma. Kalista, I'm going to need your help. Anything, ma. I want that boy out of this house. And you are going to help me. You can count on me, ma. Let me just drop your oh, tea. Please. Thank you. Okay, kids, you can go out and play now. Hmm? Why? Don't you want to go out to play? But you don't have to play with Brian. Okay. Grandma is saying you can now play with Brian. Hmm? Okay, then. Let's go. Uh. Make sure you give Brian the other toy. Sorry, baby. Does it hurt? It's Brian's fault. He pushed me. He rolled. Sorry, baby. My leg hurts. That is here, honey. Sorry, sorry. Come here. Sorry. Sorry, okay? Sorry. 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 Is it itching? Is it itching? Tell me the truth. Did you push her? I didn't push her. What do you mean you didn't push her? So how? What happened? I don't know. You don't know what? You pushed her. She's supposed to be your sister, for God's sake. I didn't push her. You didn't push her. Things were going so great between you kids. You went ahead and ruined everything. I didn't push her. You didn't push, stop lying. Stop it. Stop lying. You pushed her. Why? I didn't push her. You didn't push her. Are you sure you didn't push her? Come here. Are you sure you didn't push her? So did you speak with him? Yes, but he insisted that he, he did not push her. But Lena said he did. Brian doesn't lie. Eliana doesn't lie too. I think what we should do is that we should stop them from playing together so that we can avoid all this drama and arguments. I think we should. How is Eliana? She's a mom. My goodness, I feel so bad. Not that okay. she has stopped disturbing me about sending Brian to his father. It's now, all right, it's all right. Forget about it. It's all right. General Market, big three. Last card. You did good today. Will I be punished for telling a lie? No, you didn't lie. You were only helping Grandma. Hmm? Grandma, why don't you like Brian? It's not that I don't like Brian. It's that 
I think he should stay in his own house. But his mom is here. <laughs> I don't expect you to understand. Anyway, remember, don't tell anybody our little secret. Hmm? At any time you want to walk, you know, be careful how you do it. Especially when your daddy is around. Okay? Okay, I'll learn. Great, that's my darling. When this chocolate finishes, I'll get you another one. The door is open. Good morning. Good morning. Up to work? Good morning. Yes. morning. Um, very soon. Um, we just wanted to come check up on me and I see how she's doing. Uh, how are you doing, darling? Okay. Um, darling, is there something that we would like to say? Yes, but as soon. I thought we agreed that we are going to apologize. I didn't push her. Brian, you apologize. This minute. I didn't push her. She's lying. Brian. My goodness. What an outburst. Oh, man, I'm so sorry. It's really not like this. Well, it's unbelievable how hidden traits surface. I mean, uh, 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 at a moment's notice. Especially when no one is watching. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. And then I get better soon, okay? Right? Hey, chin up. Who am I, bad mother? Huh? I'm, I'm trying my best to raise this child right. But all this is happening. Why? Forget about it. Supposed to forget about it. Your mother is helping on sending me back to his father. And now all of this. Don't worry about my mom. She'll come around. Come around? And she's definitely not coming around. If you even know that he has not a learner and act like a child with no manners. Don't worry. You'll be fine. You will you come around as well. Okay? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just I'm just tired. I'm I'm exhausted. I don't know what to do anymore. I think I need to be firm on Brian. I need to do that. Because, you know, before now it was just me and him. Now I can see his true nature. I don't understand. The boy said he didn't do it and he wants him to admit that he did. Can't you, can't you see I'm in a quagmire here? I'm trying to be a good mother to all our kids. And what about your husband? Huh? Is he trying to be a good father to Brian? What do you mean? <sighs> Babes, I hate to be the bad guy here, but I don't see any effort that Conley is making towards Brian. I think he's just going with the flu. Worst of all, he's taking his mother's side against Brian. Wait, what are you trying to say? Are you trying to say that Conley doesn't want Brian around? And is that so unbelievable? It's not possible. I mean, it, 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 it can't be. <laughs> Look, we, we agreed that we're going to raise our kids together. In fact, Kule is paying half of Brian's school fees. <laughs> mm. Cecilia, money is nothing compared to love and attention. Does Brian receive the same care and attention as his daughters? I don't think so. I have things for me. Yes, Brian. How are you? Brian, good afternoon, sir. Okay. Um, your mom told me that you have been behaving badly lately. Look, I know you're a good boy. And I know you want what's best for your mom, right? But you see, you have to understand that your mom is trying. She's trying to keep everybody together. Okay? Dad, do you like me? Um, Mom likes Eliana and Eliana a lot. But we are one big family. Dad, you don't like me. Nobody likes me. Mom doesn't have time for me. I'm alone. Um, <clears throat> Brian, 
We're done for now. You can go to your room. <sighs> Does he even know about Brian's paternity? Babes, why didn't you tell him? Who should I tell him that to? Tell him that I met a guy, fell in love, got pregnant, and he disappeared before I even could tell him that I was pregnant. <laughs> so you figured lying about the boy's father? That is a woman beaten and abuser is a better option. It is more tangible. Please don't discard the story than telling him that, oh, I, I got pregnant for a guy that, that disappeared. It doesn't even make any sense. I understand. Have you tried searching for him on social media? I should search for him. The only reason that that guy disappeared is either he's a married man or a fugitive. So I'm not searching for anybody. Now that you're in hot seats to give up your child, I think the best option is to tell Conley the whole truth. Please. How are my beautiful girl? You're fine, Grandma. Great. <laughs> Did you go to Fallon? No. I went shopping. And I bought you to something special. Something nice. Something you will like. <laughs> would you like to see it? Yes. yes. Hmm. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. All right. Let me show you. Let me show you. Hello. Wow. <laughs> I don't want this. Wait. I said I'll find a way to fix it. Yeah. Please see. I'm home. Mama. What, what happened? happened? Why are you? Why are you crying? My dog got destroyed. What? What happened? Ah, Grandma bought them toys for earlier this afternoon. They went and ate lunch. Coming back now, the toys are destroyed. Ariana! Ari, Mama. Stop crying, okay? Grandma will buy you another one. Hmm? I like this one. Oh, I know. Okay, Ma, I just learned about what happened to our dog. Mm. I'm just as shocked. I mean, I bought these toys for them today, and all of a sudden, they just got mysteriously mangled. Who could have done this? Oh, Mama, come. It's okay. Grandma will buy another toy. I will buy you another toy, okay? Okay, Mama. Sorry. What were the dog's head and legs doing under your pillow? I don't know. You see? Do you see it? He obviously got jealous because I bought toys for the girls and I didn't buy for him. Why? Tell me the truth. Did you do it? What are you expecting? I mean, I, I, I was actually considering him staying here. But at this rate... God forbid I'll wake up one day and get to hear that he has hurt my girls. No, God forbid. It's not like that. Brian, what happened? What am I expecting you to say? Cecilia, eh? why are you making excuses for him? Listen, you need to get your priorities straight. And you are either here in your new life or in your old life. I'm not. I'm, I'm just trying to find oh, out. What? In fact, I can't trust you with the girls anymore since that you're so biased. Uh, no bias, it's like kid. I, I even have a headache. I, I, I think I need rest. I need to go and sleep. Maybe, maybe we finish. Girls, let's go. Come on, come on. I'll go to my room. Girl, what did you do? Did you do it? Are you sure? I've had it up to here, okay? I, I cannot put up with Brian anymore, okay? I've tried my best. What exactly do you mean by that? What are you doing? I don't even know that he did it. 
Oh, so are you not going to tell me that my daughters deliberately destroyed their toys? Well, I never said that. So what are you saying? This has never happened before in this house. Well, where would you have done this? Wait, wait. So are you trying to tell me that you would rather defend him even after all these evidences pointing at against him? Look, that is not a way to raise a child. Honestly, he is my son. And I know him. He's not a bad child. Okay, fine. I, I think maybe he was just being jealous because he's not getting a toy. And it's okay not for you to be de defending him like this. That's the point. Why didn't your mom actually get him a small toy? Why? Wait, wait, wait. So are you now trying to blame my own mom for buying toys for our granddaughters? Huh? But then can't you see? I am trying so hard. It's not easy for me. And it's not easy for me to raise another man's child. What did you just say? I'm sorry. What exactly did you just say? I didn't mean it that way. You never wanted him to be. You were pretending to have my back all this while. Of course I do. I, I didn't mean it that way, okay? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm so stupid. I spent my time, my energy trying to raise your own children while neglecting mine, and this is what I get. Celia, please, just stop it, okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. Celia, hey, hey. I was shocked when I got your call. What happened? Come on. What happened? What do you think? They accused Brian of destroying one of their daughter's toys. Huh? Making him look like a criminal. Well, I hate to say it, but I told you so. I know. Look, I just realized that I was spending so much energy raising the girls. Who let us even care about Brian? Babes, Kumbi is not a bad guy. He's a good man. But I just hate the fact that he's been sitting on the fence. Look, I don't care. I will not raise my son in a very toxic environment like that. I won't. So, what's it gonna be? Do you want me to raise him for you? Are you a saint or what? Come on, Cecilia. I love Brian too. Babe, look, I know, but I am his mother. I made a decision to have him, so I must raise him till the end. Even at the expense of your marriage? MJ, even at the expense of my marriage, he is my son. Hey, MG. Is Cecilia here? She's not at work today. Please, can I speak to her? I need to see her. She's spending time with Brian. She neglected him this past few weeks, so she's making up for lost times. Um, please, I really need to talk to her, okay? And, Kemji, I also need you to help me out. I don't think I want to do that. Huh? Let me even ask you. Do you like that boy? Yes. I need an honest answer. Oh, honestly, yes, I, I do. Then why didn't you try bonding with him? You focused on your daughters and you left him alone. Oh, come on, Kemji, I tried. I tried, you know I'm not so good at bonding with people, but I thought if I give it time, you know, things will fall into place, but apparently. Okay. So do you think you're the only one that finds it difficult to bond with people? You think Cecilia is such an extrovert? She went the extra mile for you because she loves you, but you couldn't do the same thing for her. I know, okay? I'm sorry. That's why I'm here to make things right, okay? I really need to speak to her and, and make her understand how much I, I've gone wrong. I'm sorry, I can't help you. It's not my place to decide. It was all with the evidence. Oh, please. You him. accused Brian falsely. If the evidence were pointing at him. It could have been planted. Agreed. Agreed. It could have. Okay? It could have. How would you feel if your precious daughters were accused falsely? That's, that's 
granted, okay? But I, I'm just here to make things right. Please, Kenji, help me out. Please. I cannot go out here. Come on, bestie. Oh, please. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. What? Kumbi. He has to stop coming to look for you. What are you going to do about this? Don't forget you're still married to him. I feel used. I spent all my energy trying to take care of the kids, the girls. He didn't even show any concern or effort towards Brian. Well, I, I think he's learned from his mistakes. Honestly, I don't think going back is the best decision for me. Why not? I've forgotten my mother-in-law. Babes, I know Kumi is on your side now. So your mother-in-law is helpless. Okay. Come on. Cheer up, okay? What does that mean? Let me talk, mom. Them? Let me Who's talk. Let me talk. Okay? Look. This is my life. It is my life. I made a mistake by not accepting Brian into my life comfortably. But I'm hoping to remedy that. No, Kule, no. This is your family. That boy is an outsider. Wait, mom. So, so what are my children to Cecilia? Are they outsiders to her as well? Will you please stop being so emotional? Stop it! When their mother died, why didn't she send the girls to, 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 to her family? How would that do that when they have a father? Exactly my point! Can't you see it? Cecilia's son has a father. She has started a new life with you. Why can't the boy go and stay with his father? Mom, I'm not going to let that happen because I want to be his father. How about that? What? What? Don't, don't, don't just want anything here, Mom. I love that woman. Okay, I only regret not loving her own son the way she loves my own daughters. Okay, please. So, we have decided to raise them as siblings. Simple. That is preposterous. Kule, that is preposterous. Kule! Kule! What, 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 what in the world? And here, here's our own special welcome. <laughs> and um, it's also to the good life, mm -hmm. to better things ahead, and to also say I'm sorry for everything. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> wow. Yes, wow. Are the kids done with breakfast? Yes, ma'am. Good morning, madam. Good morning. Yeah. Okay, miss. Ah. Yeah. That's double your salary. Ah. Ma, I don't understand. Your services are no longer needed. I'm going to look for someone who can take care of the kids equally. Well, well, madam, I, I, I was ex employed by Madame Rebecca. Oh, okay, fine. I will tell her that you're no longer needed in this house. I expect you gone by evening. Sometimes the ones you love don't get it back. I hope you haven't forgotten our little secrets. That's my girl. Don't forget. Don't tell mommy and daddy that I made you pretend that you hurt your leg, okay? Great. Hug, hug. Yes, that's my girl. All right, go outside and play with Ariana, okay? Welcome. I see you rearranged the place, huh? I only took care of some clutter. 
And who have you hired to take care of my girls? I have a very good man in mind. You, you, you hired a local nanny to take care of my girls? Ma, I had to send away Kalista because she wasn't treating the kids equally. Equality? You sent away a nanny who has been with us for years? Yes. That's what it's about? Yes, my, every kid in this house must be treated equally. Ah, so that is the strategy, eh? I see. Every kid should be treated equally. You need to leave my house. Leave my house. It is not over until it is over. I will never let my son raise a street urchin. Okay? Never. Like you don't like me, take Mom, Dad, have you seen Brian? What do you mean, darling? What do you mean by have we seen have Brian? Have we seen Brian? Where is he? We have not seen Brian since this morning. What? What? <laughs> where, where, where did he go to? Where is he? We were playing hide and seek and suddenly he disappeared. He what? He went to where? Have we checked his bedroom? Yeah. Brian! Oh, call me the security. Let's check it. Get me the security. Brian! Right where, where is he? Where is he? Where Brian! You? Where were you? Get me the security! Why is she not picking? Why? How in the world would she come and take my son without my consent or my knowledge? Cecilia, please calm down. Mom C is not going to harm you. How did she get in here without knowledge of the girls or, or, or the nanny? We're probably hiding where she came in, okay? I'll call her. Have had it up to here with your mother and her foolishness. Why can't you just let us live our lives, eh? Come on, Cecilia, calm down. Calm down what? I am calling the police. You don't, ha you don't have to do that. She probably took him out to bond with him. So calm down, let me call her. Bond? Where is my son? Ma, where is my son? Mom, where is Brian? If the security man didn't tell us what happened, that you took him away, we imagine the emotional trauma we'll be in right now. Are you both ready to hear me out? Hear you out? What, 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 what are we hearing of? Where's my son? Screaming will not solve this, Cecilia. Oh, no. And there's nothing you can say to change it. How dare you? Mommy. Mommy, I will call the police on you if you keep up with this, your pranks. Go ahead. It's my word against the security man's word. Yes. Was there a CCTV footage to show that uh, I, I took the boy away? No. Your mother is insane. She's delusional. Are you both ready to listen to my terms or should I come back another day when you're ready to listen? Please, where is my son? I just want my son for God's sake. All right. He's at an orphanage. What? You know, there are so many orphanages in this Lagos. <coughs> For all you know, he may be outside the city. Okay, it will take you a while to find him. No, 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 Mom. Mom, this is so wrong of you. So wrong. I am doing this for you, Kulu. And for the girls, too. Yes. I mean, do you know what it means to live with a stepmom and her kids? <laughs> my family's fortune was taken away by my stepmother's children. And there was nothing left for my, my siblings and I. It's not the same situation here. It's not. Kule, when you said you were getting married to this girl, I was afraid. I mean, it seemed history was going to repeat itself. It is not. Cecilia here loves my daughter as if they were hers. Really? Yes, mom. Kule, really? You are the heir of a conglomerate. Your father left a vast fortune for you. For all you know, she could be pretending. <gasps> What if, if, if you die before her? Then her son will take over everything? Don't be ridiculous. Come on, mom. Don't be ridiculous. Well, call me evil. I am only looking out for my family. Please, I just want my son.
I just want my son. Where exactly did you keep my son? The only way you will see your son is if you bring his father. Simple. I don't know where he is. I don't. Well, I don't believe that. You do not sound like a careless girl who will get pregnant for a man and lose contact with That's him. That's exactly what I am. A stupid girl who fell in love, got pregnant with a man. She knows nothing about her. Are you happy? Please give me my son. I want my son back. Please. See, honey, I, I, I thought you said to me that um, Brian's father was abusive to you and he didn't want the boy. <laughs> you see it now? <laughs> Different stories. She can't even tell the truth. Hey! <laughs> Mom. Whichever way, this is not how to go about this. Why don't you bring Brian back? Please, Ma, I beg you. Please. I just want my son back. Help me. The only way you will see your son is if you bring his father. Hello? I don't know where he is. Yes, yes, hello. Please talk. I'm in the middle of something. Who is this? Yes, this is he. <laughs> what? Hello? What, what happened? Kule, what is it? What is it? What happened? It's Remy. Remy? What, what happened to Remy? What happened? Remy is dead. <gasps> Mommy, mom, 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 you're going to the clinic. I don't want to hear anything else. I don't want to go. What do you mean by you don't want to go? You, you just collapsed. I'm wide awake now. Mom, let's go. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Oh, Sorry. I didn't get to see him before he died. It's okay. Now it's his corpse that's lying there. <laughs> If I knew he was sick, I would have been able to at least done something what to... What would you have done? He didn't want our help. It's okay. He actually blames himself for daddy's death. Because his conduct is inheritance. And you know, he has turned into an alcoholic ever since. Kule, I have been a good mother. No, mom. Don't beat yourself up. Don't beat yourself up, okay? You are. It's all right. I'm at my house. I only said what I said to make Cecilia tell me where her son's father is. No, oh, just take it easy. Easy. You didn't have to go that far. You didn't have to. I have decided to take care of Brian and to raise him as my own. And I have a strong conviction that that boy will turn out to be a good man. You didn't have to go that far, Mom. I'll give it back. Better. I'll give it back. I've instructed my child not to bring him here. He's coming back, but my own son is not coming home. <laughs> Don't say that, Mom. At least we have what is left of Remy. Even when he, even when he was he was rich, he lived like a poor man. <laughs> I know he squandered all his own part of the inheritance, but at least he could have come home. It's okay, Mom. No. It's all right. His friend told me that he would want us to look at, through this together because that was the instruction we gave to him. So, come and sit down first, eh? Come and sit down. Come and sit. I came in as soon as I could. What do you mean your mother-in-law took Brian? Is what she said. She took Brian to an orphanage. A what? How dare she? Look, I'm going in there to give her a piece of my mind. And when I'm done, I'm calling the police on her. No, 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 she's mm. not in. She's not in. So where is she? She's at the hospital. She, she collapsed. Hospital? Yes. Kule told her that her, that her son, the eldest one, Remy, died. I don't understand. Uh, Remy, the guy held the eldest son. He's not in contact with the family, so... She fainted. I'm just honestly worried about Brian. He must feel so scared. And I still don't know where he is. Don't worry. Don't worry, okay? I will handle this. When she comes back, I am demanding that she returns Brian. Else I will get the police involved. I don't care if she's Kule's mom. Look, 
I just want my son back. I just want Brian back. Why me, Kenji? Why me? I thought fate had finally smiled on me. Why all this? Okay, everything will be okay. I will handle it. Okay. So where are the girls? They went for ballet classes. This woman. <laughs> Okay. Did she hurt you? No. Oh my God! Thank God! Thank yeah. God! Yes. We need to take Brian away from here. It's no longer safe for him. Honestly, I agree with you. This woman is not going to let us live our lives in peace at all. Please, let's pack his things, okay? I'll take him away with me first, and when Kunle comes, you can talk to him. Okay, I'll do that. Yes. Okay, let me just get some of his things. I can't. Baby, let's go. Please, ma. Let's go of my son. Madam, stop with the act. I beg. We are not calling police on you yet. Just let go of him. Huh? Yeah, come on. What do you mean, come on? She kidnapped him. I'm going to let that fly. Cecilia, do you know Remy? Remy who? Remy Philip Tahamola. Is this not Philip, Brian's father? Where did you find him? You, you want to send my son away from your life and your house so bad, you have to go find his father. Is that it? Of course not. That is my late brother. You mean Brian is your brother's son? How? How can that be? How is that possible? How? How? how, how I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand. He actually drank himself to death. Okay? And he made sure that we got this letter and other belongings that explains how, how he abandoned you how he discovered that he had a new child, but because he was not capable of raising him, he left you guys. My enemy searched for you. My enemy looked for you. After he cleaned himself up. But by the time he came to the house several times, he discovered that you had left. After you had Brian. Mm -hmm. No, man. <laughs> Sorry, it was all my fault as well. I should have taken care of you some more. I should have supported you some more. Okay? It's my fault, please. Just forgive me. Brian, Brian, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I've been so selfish, so cruel. I'm sorry, Brian. I'm so sorry. I hurt you. I will make it up to you my entire life. I am so sorry for everything I have done to you. Please forgive me. No, you don't have to apologize to me. Philip was a, was a good man. Kuli, I'm sorry I kept the truth from you. I just didn't know how to tell you. No. Oh, Cecilia, I have wronged you. Please, please forgive me. No, 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 no. Please it's forgive me. Please. I should forgive you. It is Brian. Please stand please up. Forgive me. Please, please stand up. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's not me that should forgive you. It's Brian. 
didn't deserve the way he was treated. Oh, I'm so sorry. What? I'm so sorry, Brian. I made the girls dislike you. I ripped apart the dolls. And I was the one who planned it. And that's four. I'm so sorry. Forgive me, please. But this man can go a grandma to me. Oh. Absolutely. <laughs> I will be delighted. Sometimes the ones you love and give it back Oftentimes the compromise that let you down I see the way that you love me I know you don't mean no hurting No way I'm letting you out I see the way that you love me Undivided attention, your affection. Oh, all I want is your undivided attention, your affection. <laughs> 